Let's see how fast I can transition this thing from car to cabin. Go. Almost five years ago, I packed up everything I owned into the back of my truck and moved 500 miles away to a place in Idaho where I had only been to a few times. I didn't really know anybody and didn't have a whole lot of plans in place. But moved over here in my academy in the first four months. I quickly gained a few friends, started to get my feet under me. I would head out on the weekends to explore around, begin to climb, bike a little bit, do some skiing, and a lot of camping. And over the last five years, I've been able to go on a few different trips to Minnesota, fly fishing, um, last summer to Alaska with Sadie. We got to fish a little bit up there, and this winter got to fish a little bit down in Baja, Mexico. But I realized this week that I have still yet to fish a single time in Idaho and I want to change that so I decided to grab a fishing license today grab my old pools and reels and some tackle that has been sitting in my garage for the last five years and decided that I'm gonna learn how to fish in Idaho and it kind of feels like I'm starting all over again so here I am found an awesome campsite and it's been a little stormy today. It was pouring rain on the way in. Um, it's supposed to get better throughout the night into tomorrow. So got my new line all up on my uh, reel. Got some new tackle. Don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go fishing and see if I can't find myself a fish to eat for dinner. So only got a few hours of daylight left. So I'm gonna get to it.
Man, we got a lot of rain in the last week. A lot, a lot. So, this water's just rushing along. Having a hard time finding any eddies or any slow spots. Fishing was beautiful. Didn't catch any. I don't know if there are any fish in here. Water's moving so fast from all the storm water the last few days, and I also don't know how to fish very well, so no fish. But I brought backup food just in case. So chowing down and hang out, get some good sleep tonight, and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna go for a long mountain bike ride and do some scouting. Maybe bring my my pole along with me, and who knows? Maybe by midday or at some point tomorrow, the water might slowly... Whoa, I just saw a fish jump. Yes, there are fish in this place. I'm gonna go try to catch them. But yeah, tomorrow, I'm gonna go biking and do some more fishing. This place is beautiful.
well that was cool saw that little fish jump right over there as I was talking and went over there and hooked it almost got it my first Idaho fish ever about six inches long Well, that one was a little bigger. Almost got him.
just cruised up. Didn't realize this road was gonna be uphill the entire way. I'm at about just over 11 miles. And right around 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Beautiful, beautiful day. Everything's so green. We got so much rain in the last like month, for Idaho at least. Uh, yeah, everything's just lush, green. Not muddy though, so it's it's really nice for biking. Still patches of snow on the road. North aspects of all these mountains are holding. You can kind of see over there, still some snow on the back sides. And yeah, I opted out of bringing my fishing pole just because I realized it'd be a lot to yeah carry and manage that. So I'm gonna get my riding in this morning, and then I got a spot. I'm gonna go do some hiking and try to catch me some fish this afternoon. Well, cruised up a little higher. I think I'm gonna call this good for now. So now I get the joyful ride back down. I got about over 2,000 feet of drop and only 200 of gain. So it's gonna be a lot of downhill. Excited. That was fun. Whew. 23 and a half miles with two and a half thousand feet of gain ish. Not too bad. Got a little bacon, egg, inside of some uh, garlic and cheesy sourdough, made by our friend. Mm.
Alrighty, got camp broke down, ate a delicious lunch, and now I'm gonna cruise over a few miles up the road and jump on a trail and do some fishing. I was just uh, driving down the road and there was this massive flock of uh, butterflies on the side. I don't know anything about butterflies, but it was crazy. There was like 50 of them all just like, I don't know, ganging up on something it looked like. And so took a bunch of pictures and videos. Maybe you guys know what, what what's going on there. But either way, it was cool. There's a wave down here in the river, right there. And there's some folks here, they brought a, a little bodyboard, they're gonna try to surf it, so that's pretty cool. Backcountry bodyboarding. See if you can send it. He didn't quite get it, but cool to watch anyways. I love seeing people do creative things. That wave looked way too small to me to be able to ride, so I was surprised at the amount he did get, but now it's time to go with some fish. Well, back to the car, hooked up with a few fish, but didn't land anything, so no fish on the bank for me this trip, but it was still a blast. Good little reintroduction, I guess, into fishing here, and sure I'll be doing a lot more. So I gotta get home now, and that's that. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video. Hey guys, just wanted to check in here at the end and say thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to support this channel and support yourself in your camping adventures this summer, I highly recommend that you check out the link below for the free trial, 30 day trial to the Dirt app, which is an app that has a robust set of information on 
all things camping. So campsites, both established like campgrounds, national parks, and dispersed camping on public land. Uh, it just helps you yeah, find those cool locations. There's a lot of user generated information in there. And so you can get other people's reviews. You can see the amenities, like if there's cell service or not, if there's um, you know toilets or whatever you might be specifically looking for. You can get the information there. And then they also have a really cool um, trip planning tool that you can basically input your start location and location, you know, your, your vehicle information on, on mileage, gas mileage, you know, so if you need to do fuel stops or if you want to stop for dinner at different places. And it helps you put together an itinerary and plan out a trip the most efficient way possible so that you have something to base your adventures off of. So if you want to support the channel, check that out. It's free, 30-day trial. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a good day.